Good Wednesday morning, 2 a.m. Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Bartridge. This is your outlook for November 13th, 2013. Starting off from the GFS, and uh, we're pretty much going to use the GFS throughout the entire uh, entire video today because there's a, a pretty close agreement now, now with the uh, European model. Uh, as far as timing goes for that system that we're expecting to come in uh, later Sunday and Monday. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, yesterday we had that uh, system going a lot faster and uh, now it's slowed down a little bit. So uh, we're just going to use the GFS here as a point of reference. Now today we're going to still, uh, the Arctic Fund has gone, that came through yesterday uh, is uh, well to our south now. Uh, we still have winds coming in here out of the uh, northwest. It's going to shift to the west later today uh, as we get closer to the evening, but uh, it's going to be a little bit breezy, at least, at least early on, and uh, temperatures are going to be struggling to get out of the 40s or get out of the 30s, uh, an area probably north of this line. Uh, it's probably season of 30s up in this area here, and uh, this area here is still probably in the low 40s, maybe close to the mid-40s mid to get closer to Philadelphia and South Jersey. But all in all, a very chilly day today and definitely below normal for this time of year. Uh, with that breeze, it'll feel a lot chillier. Uh, than the air temperature uh, when it is blowing. High pressures in control out here sitting over West Virginia at this time. Uh, at this time tomorrow evening uh, is going to move off to the east-southeast, uh, kind of like in this direction like this, and is going to park itself right off the, sh off the coast eventually. Uh, by, because this high pressure is going to be moving in this direction here, the winds are going to be shifting more to a southerly direction, and that's going to allow for a warm-up in temperatures uh, gradually, but not nothing drastic, but it's going to be gradual warm-up uh, with temperatures uh, getting up into the uh, mid-50s, eventually the upper 50s, and uh, some 60s will show its face uh, in some areas, especially southern areas here this weekend. Central and southern areas should hit 60 uh, by the time we get to Sunday and Monday. Okay, we're going to go forward in time here and see what we're dealing with here. Uh, here you can see the high pressure moved offshore, where I kind of where I drew it uh, up a little bit ago here. And uh, that will allow the winds to shift here and the warm-up to, to commence. Our next chance of precipitation uh, there's gonna be a, is going to be with this uh, area low pressure that's going to be moving up into the Great Lakes. Now, the GFS is starting to bring in some precipitation as early as Sunday afternoon. Uh, not quite sure if that's uh, too early or not yet. We'll have to keep an eye on that and monitor that situation and whether or not that is the case. Here's uh, Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. showing some light showers. Uh, European model is a little bit slower with this. doesn't get in until Sunday evening. So, uh, you know, being this far away, things can change as far as time is concerned. But yesterday the GFS was a full day, almost a day and a half ahead of the European model and has since slowed down. So uh, this makes a little bit more sense that it would wait. Uh, looking like uh, Saturday is going to be an okay day, and then we get into Sunday. That's your question mark right now. So if you have plans this weekend, uh, you want to get some uh, outdoor work or anything like that done, raking leaves, things like that, a better day of the two would probably be Saturday just to be safe because Sunday is still up in the air. So uh, we go forward in time a little bit beyond that. Uh, here's Monday. Of course, there's low pressure sitting up in the Great Lakes. There's an associated cold front that's going to be attached to this sitting down here like this. It's going to take its time. Uh, moving east, uh, but just like the uh, cold front that moved through yesterday, it's going to be have having a cold reinforcing shot behind this. And uh, we'll put this forward in time here. Here's that cold front moving through. Uh, this is now Monday evening, and then it pushes offshore. Uh, lake effect snow starts kicking up again uh, behind it, but uh, one thing's for certain is that you get very, very windy with a tight gradient behind here on the GFS, and you can see that. See these tight isobars right here? Oh, they're almost on top of each other. This would indicate you're going to have a very windy uh, windy day with the cold winds blowing across the lakes and lake effect snows and things like that uh, happening as we get into the middle of next week. Now, I was getting a little bit too far ahead of ourselves here, but uh, GFS is, is suggesting here uh, this is a departure for normal. Of course, right now we're below normal with this trough over here in the east. This big ridge over here in the central plain states this is actually a, a surge of warmth. You know, like a roller coaster here, what goes up must come down. So we're in the east here, and we have the cold air sitting over the northeast. So we go forward in time, though, we are going to moderate. And you can see that here, uh, get to near normal as we get to the Thursday to Friday time frame. Uh, then we head into the weekend, and you see it warms up. See how these darker oranges and... Uh, Yellow start popping up here, and it does a flip. The, cold, the plains are now the cold area, and we have a like a mini ridge sitting over top of us here. And you can see that with the uh, 
you see that little ridge right here. So uh, because of that, we're having a surge of warmth. The wind's coming out of the southwest, and the GFS uh, shows that cold front coming through. And look what it does again. Big trough, very pronounced trough. Look at that dip sitting over the northeast. So it's expecting that by the time we get to the middle of next week, it's going to be downright cold. And then a uh, little uh, indecision on what this wants to do again, but it's probably going to be the same pattern we've been in where you go back and forth between cold and warm, cold and warm, cold and warm. And it's a transient, a transient pattern where nothing sticks for a long time. So you don't have uh, long heat waves and you don't have long cold snaps. I mean, they're just in and out uh, a couple days, a day, two days, maybe three, and then that's out of here. Uh, so... Yeah, you know, that's what we're looking at as far as temperatures are concerned, at least within the next 10 days or so. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for November 13th, 2013. Have a great Wednesday.